we appreciate you being very cooperative. I'm not trying to get shot over this. <laughs> Police officers often make arrests with little or no information about their suspect. But what happens when these officers get it wrong and actually arrest a different person? Here are six of the most shocking cases where cops realize they've arrested the wrong person. Quentin, you already said your name was that. My name is not Quentin. What the f is wrong with you? Starting off with 39 year old Clarence Evans, who on May 8, 2019, was standing in front of his home playing with his children when the deputy, whose name was not released, pulled up to his house and initially asked him about his dog. The situation took a turn when the deputy then asked for Clarence's ID and things quickly escalated. I'm in front of my house, isn't it? Uh I don't trust you shaking like you're scared or something. Okay. He don't live in Louisiana. Oh, I don't even live in Louisiana. How the hell would I have a warrant in Louisiana? Quentin, you already said your name was that. My name is not Quentin. What the f is wrong with you? Sorry, his name is My not Quentin. Quentin. Then let's see the ID when we'll be done. For those who don't know, you don't have to show your ID to the police unless you've been arrested for being involved in a crime and they are holding you for questioning. Somehow, this officer didn't know that as he continued to make matters worse. His name is not Quentin. Quentin. Let's do this and be done. I got no problem cause I got You just pictures. shot in front of my house. Yes, I know who you are. It's a, you know, what's my name? <laughs> Man, that. You shaking like you scared. Stop. I'm not gonna let you put me in here. Please stop. Stop. Please stop. 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 My name is not no fucking Quentin. You don't even know my name and tell me I got a warrant in the window. Okay. Yes. You so I look like a, you want me show me the picture. picture. Okay. Show me the picture. Okay, okay wait. Just walk with me. Nah, not, no, no, walk with me. Please, he's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. I need your supervisor. Come on. Let me see your stripes. Well, I need somebody here in front of the car. No, you got to get me to your car. Sir. Sir. Put my yard on my property. Calm down. Just calm down. You stop. You stop. Who are you looking for? His name is not Quinn. You think I'm looking because I got dreads or something? No. You just pulled up in front of my house and told me I got a warrant in Louisiana. So what? That's my f***ing dog. That's our dog. That's our dog. The duo continues to go back and forth, with the officer repeatedly referring to Clarence as Quentin until they're soon joined by another cop. But just when you think the situation is all about to be resolved, it gets worse. Go in the house. Look, man, sir, that's our dog. Don't you touch me while you're shaking. You need to step back and calm down. No, f*** that. Like, get my phone out of the car. There you got him running. Calm down, calm down, right. calm down. Here's the deal. Doesn't that look a lot like you? No, that don't look like that's me. That's not him. What's wrong with you, man? What are you trying to say? Because I got grass and I'm black. That's me. No. That's not him. Are you fucking She can see that's not look me from over there. Oh, my God. No, what? Stop. You got no problem. My name? You ain't got no You ain't. No, please stop. Stop, stop, stop. Please stop. Please leave him alone. Get out of my yard, man. I need man. to report on this. I need to report. Nah, you need to get the f out of my yard. You okay, just, no, you just said I'm somebody named Quinn. Oh, you got trans and he black. Come okay. on, come on. What the f is that? Okay, shit? Okay. okay, come on. Nah, f that. Okay. Okay. Now we, you want to leave, right? No, I want to do report on Nah, nah, you need to get somebody here that's over you because you just okay. made the biggest f mistake. Why How the f you pulling in front of my yard come because on. I'm black with trans no. and tell me I got a warrant? Okay, okay. You, no, he you just racist. My kids was out here. No, one of my kids. Shockingly, even after the officers clearly identified that he wasn't the one they were looking for, they still tried to arrest him. Once they determined that Clarence was not the suspect, the deputies eventually left. Clarence actually decided to press charges, but all of them were shortly dismissed. And if you thought situations like this couldn't get any worse, that's because you don't know the incredible case of Joseph Griffin. We appreciate you being very cooperative. I'm not trying to get shot over this. <laughs> this is former military policeman Joseph Griffin, who on August 27, 2020, was out jogging in Deltona when deputies pulled up in a squad car alongside him and told him he fit the description of a suspect in a nearby burglary. What happens next is absolutely incredible. Hey, buddy. If you're not in any trouble or anything, uh, there is a, a burglary that happened 
you kind of fit the description. Let me just make really? let me just make sure that you're not him, okay? All right. Um, I'm a vet. I have my ID. Okay. Can I see your ID? Yeah. You, you literally, they said white tank top, black shorts, and they they said that you had a beard. All right. So I'm not saying it's you, but it was a black male. Again, not saying it's you, buddy. Forty-eight to forty. Did the male ha have tattoos on him? And white beard, correct? We've got a male over here we're sitting with right now on. 2000 block of North Normandy fit in the description. I'm verifying him right now to make sure it's not him. He's wearing an army black shorts, white tank top, beard. So I'm just verifying it's not him. At this point, the shocked military man pulled out his cell phone and began streaming a Facebook live video of the interaction as he had no idea of what could happen next. However, while they waited for the information on the suspect to come in, the police officer wasted no time doing the wrong thing. Listen, just bear with me, okay? Because you fit the description, I'm not saying you're guilty, but my sergeant's telling me to detain you. That's, that's my sergeant. Uh -huh. I got you. I just had a daughter born two days ago, so I just have this on live. It is live? I'm not trying do you to. Mind, do you mind sending it down here? Yeah. Okay. Look, I, I, I'll place it for you, okay? Right. Just for now, I'm going to detain you. Look, you're not you're, you're, you're not under arrest. I'm detaining you right now because you fit the description, okay? okay. Just hang tight for me, okay, buddy? While being handcuffed, Joseph, who was clearly scared for his life, tells his viewers, if something happens to me, y'all better raise hell. But as if that wasn't enough, more officers began to arrive, which only made him more afraid for his life. You fit the description, that's why I'm detaining you. If, if it's not you, we're gonna cut you loose and you're free to go, okay? But I just want you to see through us why, you know, literally they stole something right now and we just wanna verify it's not you, okay? You don't gotta be scared. You good? There's just a, a lot going on today. Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know. <laughs> Buddy, look. On him, literally. If he, if, he, if he's free to go, if he's not the one, we'll cut him loose. Yeah, man. We're gonna, we're gonna work something out real quick. Get, get somebody come over here real quick, just make sure. But all right. The good news is they come up as easy as they go on. So that's it. Then I apologize for the inconvenience. Just think of it, if it was your home, right, we'd be doing the same. Unfortunately, you, you literally admit the description like 99%, so you might just have it be that 1% that... Hey. I run this street all the time. <laughs> I was say, you look like you're in pretty good shape, so... Seven cop cars, though. Hey, everything going on is just a little bit scary. Yep. You know? <laughs> this is a bur it was a burglary. Right, don't it's, <laughs> it's a burglary. It's serious. It's not a joke. <laughs> yep. Well, you don't know that for sure, though. You know what I mean? See, that's what I'm trying to say. See it through us. See it through our eyes. Yeah. Cars burn. There's, there's, there's mistakes people make, right? And it's because of their actions. I'm not saying that officers that have been in, in involved shootings weren't at fault as well, but. There's at times where we, we say things like, like look, look how cooperative you were. Did it things escalate? No, they didn't. No, because you did exactly what we told you to do. And as soon as, and if, it, we did, seriously, do you really think we want to be out here killing people? Do you honestly I, think I, that? I'm a military police. I, 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 so I, I just want you to know, I, yeah, see it from a... Yeah. And like I said, brother, I, I've been in the same boat, okay? I know things are going on. It's a, it's a race fight going on. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. Then, after confirming that he was not the suspect, Joseph was eventually released. He's gonna run it through, make sure it's not you, and from what it looks like, buddy, you'll be out of here, okay? Cool. All right, so. Look. Hey, can one of y'all uh, tell my do? girl to come pick me up off of Normandy, please? Yeah. Unless you got the baby at the home, tell her to uh, have her mom come yeah. pick me up or something. All right, buddy. I don't want to stress I'm, her out too. Can I put it this on the yeah, floor? Just leave it on the floor? All right. All right. 
Sorry, I'm trying to get it. Oh, what? I don't have it. Hey, bud. So, we appreciate you being very cooperative. Again, this is not a race thing, so let's not make it because that's... You're not, you're not white. <laughs> Even if I was, I'm, let me tell you, this agency is very, very amazing. And there's serious consequences for racial discrimination here, okay? I promise you that. Our sh takes very seriously. We are not discriminating. You literally matched the description. We did a show of... What's your name, man? Interestingly, the actual suspect was later found and arrested. After this, the police claimed that Joseph would join the office during an implicit bias training session, adding that the former military policeman could have a new job if he wanted. However, there is no information on whether this was done or not, but it isn't always the case that cops will be so kind to innocent suspects as you will see in the next case. Get in the car, man! Get in the car, now! This is 33-year-old Matthias Ometu, an insurance adjuster for USAA, who on August 25, 2020, was jogging in his neighborhood in San Antonio when a police officer confronted him, saying he matched the description of another man in the neighborhood whose wife had reported a case of domestic violence. However, the situation soon took a drastic turn when Matthias refused to disclose his information. Hey, what's your name, brother? Well, you kind of match the suspect in the description of what I'm looking for. What's your name? What's your name? Why? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, well, like I said, just come here. We're trying to figure this out, man. Working out? Are you serious? You what? I'm working out. I'm doing a run. Dude, I just got a call for a family violence. What's your name, dude? I'm not giving my name. I'm just here working out. Okay, if that's all it is, you I just let need me to go. That's not. I need to know your I'm name. I'm giving you my name. I don't have to give you my name. Okay, why are you acting like this, man? Because I'm working out and you're bothering me. I'm being bothered because on fucking Because you match the description of somebody that just choked your girl. I don't care what description. I don't care what description. I just want to do my damn run. All I need to know is your name. That's oh, it. Damn, dude. What can you fucking do a damn run? Like I said, do you think I want to be contacting you? No. Well, like I said, all I need to know is any kind of information you got. I don't have any information to get to you. What's I'm on the name? run. What's your name then? You're not getting that information. Okay, well then you're going to be detained right now, okay? Okay, for what? For being a suspect of family violence until I figure out who you are. Okay. I'm going to put you in the back of my car, okay? Because you want to act like No, this. I'm going to be right here. No, you're not. You're going to the back of my I'm car. I'm going to sit right here. I didn't do anything. I'm going to sit like, right there in the grass. Okay. That's hey, all I want to do. I have to take you my car. I don't want to go in the car. Don't you guys are going to go in the car. You want, want to be this. acting like Why? this. I'm not acting anyway. Because all I need to know is your I name. That's it. That to you. I'm just... I don't want to give you any information. Okay, you're going to sit in the car, okay? Until we get this all figured out, okay? Because you don't want to act like... No, this. don't don't tell me anything that I'm doing wrong. I'm not doing anything that I'm doing all wrong. I need to know what That's, your name. So, no, did it. I break a rule? I do you to, know that I did? He, did you see me do anything? The description did you see me do anything? I just talked to my complainer who said okay. that she was assaulted. Okay, go 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 get her. Go okay. get her. and Bring her here then. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Sit right here. Me. I don't want to sit inside. Just sit inside. I want to sit right here. I want to be where you got me at. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. Okay. Just stay right there. Okay. I'll give her a call. Give her a call. For those who don't know, a person is under no obligation to identify themselves to the police during a routine encounter, just like how Matthias had acted. However, seeing that he wouldn't comply, the officers put him in handcuffs while they tried to confirm the identity of the suspect. Wait, no, whenever you choked, did you lose consciousness? Did you black out or anything like that? Or... He said, yeah. Okay. How long did he hold you by your neck? No longer than a minute? Okay, can you describe his shirt again? What color? Lime green is in like... So not like a neon green? I mean, was it bright, you think? I'll sit on the way to come pick you up and then we'll talk again, okay? Okay, um, okay, we'll see you in a bit, okay?
He's just not giving us any information. Yeah. It's a, whenever you go through the main gate by the office, just go all the way to the back, take a right, and then take that first right, and it's the second building on the right. After several calls were made, the arresting officer concluded that they took Matthias to the woman's location for identification. However, that was when the situation quickly escalated. I just need to get you I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. So, I don't want to have to do this, but you were, all we had to do was drive over all there. All you had to do was leave me the f alone. Why do you say that? Because you, cause Cause you match the anything. description of something. Yeah, I'm sure I do. You want to look at my key card? Yeah, I'm sure I match the description. Okay, well, you're going to get in the car. Come on. No, I'm not. Yes, you I'm are. not getting in the car. I didn't do anything. I'm not. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Quit making this difficult. Get in the car, man! Get in the car now! Quit, quit fighting! Hey! Get in the car! Soon after, other police officers arrived at the scene and they began to discuss the situation. He's like, hey man, what's your name? He's like, I'm not telling you my name, yeah, I don't need to. They're like, all right, <clears throat> so we just detain him. They're like, are oh, you gonna get in the car? He's like, no, I'm not getting the car. I was like, okay. Let me just call the victim. Try to get some more description of him. It pretty much matches, but except for the beard. That's it. Well, <clears throat> the info that she gave me for the suspect, her like, ex-husband or whatever, has a phone anymore for robbery. But he won't ID himself. Same shirt, same clothing. So started over the SVU thing, then you guys detained him. He was fine outside the car when you guys tried I mean, to put him in. He was aggressive, in. but... Okay. Yeah, when you guys tried to put him in, that's when he started resisting. He wouldn't get in the car. You guys yeah, shoved him in. We couldn't bring the victim over here to do... She had a one-year-old and a five-year-old. <clears throat> so I couldn't bring the victim over there. So you guys were going to take him back there so the chief guy didn't find him? Because yeah. yeah. I didn't find him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and that's when... We're not even sure if it's got done. a little cut right there. Uh, yeah, we're leaving over with him. All I didn't want to do was ID him. Okay. That was it. <clears throat> and then what happened once you guys tried to get him in the car? She passively resisted, couldn't get in. So uh, we're not finding to get him in. Uh, kicked me a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, they, where, where, he, where else did he get you? He kicked me in my legs and kicked me in the back. <coughs> <coughs> I had my glasses on, but uh, where did he get you? Uh, I don't know if he actually got me. It just was a struggle to <clears throat> get him in because he was all tensed up. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, no, I just dry throat. Yeah. But uh, Dave, he was able to. I grabbed him, him right, I grabbed the him right here. Okay. No use of force on you guys. He doesn't need EMS. <clears throat> I don't think so. Okay. We got to see a cycle pack. Grab those guys. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I should get some water. <coughs> that was interesting. But dude, it's got to be that difficult. All we had to do was ID him, and that was it. If it wasn't him, it wasn't him. Yeah, it was as simple as that. The struggle to get Matthias locked into the car turned out to be unnecessary as the police were able to drive the woman to the scene where it soon became clear that they indeed had the wrong person. Hey, Salt. <clears throat> God dang, dude. Yeah, so obviously we're doing a real thing up the officer. Hey, so you want uh, SV or homicide? I'm on board for SV. Is that, is that him? It's not him. It's not him? It's not him. <clears throat> Yeah, so I don't know what, what this guy's doing. It's not him. <coughs> it's not him, though. This guy wouldn't ID us, but the suspect gave me, uh, the victim gave me the suspect info. Well, the suspect <coughs> matches description. Well, the suspect has a felony warrant. 
watch a shot. Damn, dude, all of that? I said he's not the suspect. <coughs> is he not the suspect? He is not the suspect. He is not the suspect. For all the people violence, he just matched his face. Just so you're aware. We're completely separate, yeah. Yeah, let me know. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Give me a sec. Let me. <coughs> that's right. That's all it is. Like, stop smoking. And then I will have to call you at 4134. I guess that's not the suspect. All right. I appreciate it. Okay, the fact of the matter remains, you still have a lawful reason to contact him because he yeah. the description, he failed the ID, and two officers got assaulted. So you got assaulted, who else got assaulted? I mean, I don't know if I got assaulted. You got a scratch? Yeah, you got assaulted. You got assaulted. Okay, okay. so CSI is going to photograph you, you. So yeah. I already think Hunter, I'll go handle that report. Yeah, Coker Amen. and Shell are already over there. <coughs> so. This is Bazzi with 2272 up in Oklahoma, but I have his number. He said, whoever's handling the call, him, just basically. Uh, 207 Fortunately for Matthias, the victim clarified that he was not the suspect, but it didn't seem like they were ready to let him go. Soon after, we see just how despicable cops can get just to get an arrest. So I was, he ended up kicking him in the face, he got me on the leg, um, cut reopened on this, Keep elbow hurt. in the leg, okay. <coughs> uh, cut finally got the hand, him. no issues. Uh, as soon as everybody got here, they finally brought the victim over here, and she's like, no, that's not him. But apparently now the victim's changing the story, like, ah, oh, nothing happened. Or something like that. Well, this guy, he didn't want to give me his ID, but the ID that she gave me for a suspect or whatever, her ex-husband, comes back to the robbery one. So, have uh, you ID this guy yet, then? No, we don't know who he is. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to ID him, so it could be him. It could be, yeah. Just, Very well, it could be. And she's just giving a line of shit because yeah. now she doesn't want to do anything. I mean, how many people give that same, same exact description as I'm pulling in right when the guy's walking? What name has the... Sitting on it. So... So, we, have, we have an ID, so it's, that one's gonna be the family violence. I don't know what all the CRT's over there too. Yeah, I already talked to him. I told him as soon as I'm done here, I'll go over there. Okay. Yeah, and this guy's, uh, I guess you asked him about EMS, right? Because we never, we never used any kind of force or anything like that. Uh, just all up in his techniques. Uh, yeah. They used the uh, right under the job, like right under his chin technique. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, I've been here? Yeah, yeah, right here, right where my car is. so now you supposed to you got hit where? Uh, I want to get, say I want to got hit in my shirt. He got me in my eye, <laughs> I got kicked down here on my hands. Uh, I got cut there. <coughs> and then I got hit. Any update or what? Yeah, he got hit a little bit. Just went straight to boys, man. So it didn't bring on that part of the battle there, so. Still don't know. What's going on and everything like that? Was that even the phone number or whatever? We don't know. That's the right phone number she gave us. Who knows if he even had more than one phone, you know? Yeah. That one could just be disconnected and not have service. While reporting to another officer, one of the cops, who had earlier admitted that he didn't have any injuries, suddenly changed his story, leaving one to wonder why he would contradict himself. Luckily, two other people from a nearby law firm had witnessed the incident, and they were soon confronted by the police officers. Can I have that gentleman leave? I'll talk to you guys outside, but I didn't like what he was doing. Why? What was I doing there? It's my opinion. I'm a lawyer. You can leave my business, please, so I have to call the real cops. Okay, we're, we are real okay. cops, and we're here to investigate a crime that you guys witnessed. You guys witnessed There's a criminal element. right there. That's not a criminal. Okay, so that's what they're investigating. So I need to get you guys to identify information so our detective can follow up with it. You guys, because I don't like the way he handled that gentleman. Mind his business jogging. Even if he didn't fit a description, that's the norm that you guys use. I didn't like what he did. So okay, I'm already sir. telling him, I'm already going to be a witness against this gentleman. I already sent this to all the news stations. The mayor knows about it. Okay. I know you guys have a tough job, I get that, but when you escalate things, not appropriate, especially in this day and age. Okay, sir, I, that's fine. Okay. You, you're entitled to your opinion, that's fine. I'm not going to ask you about any of that. I just need y'all's identifying information so that if you want to report, you got it's it. all public record. That's how we're going to do it, okay? You got it. What's your birthday? You want to That's actually a good idea. Thank you. One second. So we are recording this live. 
I don't trust cops whatsoever. Sorry, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to provide you any information, sir. Okay. Ma'am, what's your name? Do not cooperate. I'm a lawyer. Ma'am, what's your name? Um, my name... So you're not going to provide me with your date of birth? Yeah. Okay. Would you guys like our case number? Matthias was later charged with two counts of felony assault on a police officer for kicking them, one of them in the face. Three days later, Dennis Anthony Smith, the true suspect, was arrested on an unrelated 2018 robbery warrant. But discrimination doesn't stop here, especially with this other case of an innocent man who was mistaken to be a terrorist. There he is. There he is. Right there. Oh, no, no, Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This is United Arab Emirates businessman Ahmed Al Minhali, who on June 29, 2016, was in Avon, Ohio, for medical treatment when he arrived at a hotel to inquire about extended stay accommodations. However, his visit soon turned into one he'll never forget. Avon Police Sergeant Rupel. Hi, my sister works at the Fairfield Inn on Colorado Avenue in Avon. She is a desk worker. Okay. There is a male in a full headdress with multiple disposable phones pledging his, um, hold on, pledging his allegiance or something to ISIS. Okay. Is very panicky. Okay. Is your sister able to call us? No, she is at the front desk. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, hello. Yes. My, my daughter is working at Fairfield Inn. And I was just. Are you? Is this? His dad? Yes. I was just on the other line with and I got officers en route. Uh, uh, thank you. She, All right. She said she's in the back. I, I have the text. Uh, she said she's terrified. So oh, okay. All right. While Minhali was in the hotel, Avon police received a false report from the family members of a desk worker that Minhali, dressed head to toe in a kondura, pledged allegiance to ISIS in a phone call. Unfortunately, the false accusation triggered a SWAT style police response that did not end well for Minhali. There he is. There he is. Right there. Oh, no, no, Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on your car. Get on the ground! 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 Get on Got you. I'm on you. Stand in front of me. Get in front of me. There's yellow. Come behind you. Austin, go ahead. Head straight out in front of you. Don't move. Austin, go in. Grab his hands. Cuff him up. We're covered. Cover, 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 cover. Cover, cover, cover. Get the phone away. What's happening? Get the phone away. Cover the entrance selfie. Okay, back. Yeah. What's it do? Go. All right. You got his arm? Grab that arm. You good? Yeah. 37 and we have one detained, just one. We're in the main office. So I'm gonna bring that cruiser right here. We're gonna put him in. Pull up. Let's check him first. Alright, turn. Turn to your left. Or your right. Turn to your right. What happened? Pull up. 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 Pull up.
make a sweep this place? I don't know, he's got it. 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 He's got this guy down, make sure he's got nothing on. We will. Relax, relax. We will. Relax. We're going to get you to stand up first. You got that? Sit up. He's got a wallet or something. As Minhali noticed the cops, his first instinct was to follow their orders as he had no idea what was going on. He was then put in handcuffs and an investigation was initiated. It's a bunch of SIM cards. This guy's idea. He has them all right now. Put like six or seven different ones. This thing in here. <laughs> Soon after, the responding officers determined that there was a clear miscommunication between the desk clerk and her relatives and decided to release Minhali. However, that was when the unexpected occurred. You okay? They got scared, called us. Him. You'll we'll get call you back, okay? Thanks. And now he just... He just passed yeah, out. So, what does this? That's why I'm coming with the right now. Okay. It's all over and over. We had several cell phones with him. She got nervous because of how he went fast. Or is there... Sir, what kind of medical issues do you have? He had a stroke. He's here at Queen One for his stroke. He had a stroke? Treatment. Okay. He's had a stroke. Heart problem? Is this your brother? No, 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 no. My daughter was still on fire. Did he hit his head? I don't think so. He started falling and I caught him at the last second. Okay. I don't think he kind of sat. Does something hurt? Your hat? Alright, we're getting the cop right now. That's a long thing. Yeah. We're going to pick you up and put you on the cot here one second, okay? As the officers explained the situation, Minhali suffered from a light stroke and suddenly fell to the ground. Luckily, paramedics quickly responded to him before lifting him onto a stretcher and took him to a hospital. Minhali later filed a lawsuit against the hotel and two employees for racially profiling him. However, cops arresting the wrong person doesn't end here. It gets even worse. <laughs> This is 27-year-old Sylvester Hayes, who on October 16th, 2021, was on his way to get his children's breakfast at a restaurant that was located only a few blocks away from his residence when he was followed and pulled over by Dallas police officers Harris and Guab. Sylvester reluctantly hands over his ID to avoid delay, but the situation turns violent when officers mistake his name for a wanted domestic violence suspect with a similar spelling. The suspect's name was spelled Sylvester rather than Sylvester, but instead of confirming this, first through their database, Officer Guab marched back to Sylvester and the situation quickly escalated. I'm on a second one. I'll explain it to you. I know. Step I out. I'll explain everything. No, sir. You tell me why. I'll explain. I'm trying to get him out of the I didn't give you permission. I didn't give you permission to call okay. another. Right now, you are being detained. Come on and step out. Hey, yeah. I'm kind of scared. Come on and step out. Come on. 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 Come on and step out. He's gonna get tased. Come on and step out. 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 Step out. Hold on, hold on, bro. Come on and step out. During the confrontation, Sylvester mentions that he had a registered gun in his possession, but this was quickly used against him when several other unnamed officers arrived on the scene. 
So come on. Y'all, I didn't give y'all some mission. Bro, 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 It is evident that the officers presumed that a young black man with a gun posed a threat and escalated the use of excessive force. Unfortunately for Sylvester, things only got worse when they tried to get him into a police cruiser. You're hurting yourself right now. Bro, what are y'all doing? You are hurting yourself. Hey, while he's down, search him. Bro, I don't have anything. Yeah. Bro, I don't have anything, bro. on the floorboard of the front passenger. Bro, I don't... That is my gun. It is in my name. Bro, you are pressing my pressure points. Stop. Bro. You're getting this because you're acting this way. My This is 100% and I'm not your Y'all are in big trouble. All right, bro, let's get him up. All right, y'all are in big trouble. Let's go. Ready, one, two, three, up. Y'all ain't even getting the call. Damn, you a black man. You're going to let them do this. You're going to let them do this. Damn, fam. Do you see how they doing? Do you see how they doing? Do you see how they doing? Ah. Stupid. Bro, I'm fing with you. Stupid. 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 I'm fing with and his gun's right pocket. And he kept going like this, too. He kept reaching. No, I did not! After the officers got him into the police cruiser, they finally ran a check on his driver's license before they realized their mistake and started to discuss the situation with Sylvester. I got four kids that are waiting on me right now. They're hungry. They're hungry. I'm about to go feed them, man. And that's it. That's, I don't know. Like, they say I failed the... I failed the signal at the, at the stop sign. The stop sign? Okay. I mean, I was wrong for that. Yes. So, but, so that was the reason for contact for the stop, okay. Yes, I understand that. And I was gonna, I was gonna tell him, like, what am I being detained for? I don't have any warrants. My name is, I mean, I mean, I have warrants maybe for speeding or something like that, but what, I'm not- What not is for, your name? Not for family violence or anything. What, what is your name? Sylvester Hayes. Sylvester Hayes. A, a name of a champion. And they, and they, 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 they doing it because they, but my, I don't know if it's because my skin is... And that, that, it has nothing to do with the skin. But, but look how they held me, sir. I didn't do anything to well, there was me. a gun, right? But I, I wasn't pulling. I told him I had a weapon. I told him this. Okay. I told him this. This is my name. Okay. If they run it, it's going to say Sylvester Hayes. Okay. Mr. Hayes, so... And I, I don't know all the story, but there is a another Sylvester Hayes, right? So give me a second, right? And, and that Sylvester Hayes does have... A warrant. Then that maybe that's. Okay. I'm the third man. Okay, so your last name is Hayes. Hey, Sylvester Hayes the S, third. S S S I L B E S T E R. Okay, and then your date of birth. Your February birthday. 23rd, 1996. Okay, and I'm third. We. 
we, we can handle all this, but when guns or stuff and stuff like that are in play. I didn't pull in anything, sir. No, no, no. I, and I, and I never said you did, right? But, with everything, come on, man. With everything that's going on now, why, the, why would I pull the gun, man? Later, the police officers were joined by a supervisor who began to investigate what happened. Here, we see how the police will go to any lengths just to make an arrest justifiable. <sighs> She kind of looks at it, but by that time we had already lost them. Yeah. We had already gone into like the family dollar parking lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. The family dollar parking lot. So then, as she's searching, she finds out that the name that she put on there, whatever, was on AIS, had continuous family violence, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. a warrant. So then, we get behind them up here because we see, we see the car moving on Illinois. So we catch up to it and we get up here to uh, Southern Oaks and he fails to signal within 100 feet from the stop sign okay. here at Southern Oaks and Overton. And as soon as he came up here, you know, we obviously pulled him yeah, over. So he got the reason for contact. Yeah. So I pulled up to the car and I'm like, hey man, look, he, you know, you got pulled over for this, this, and this. And he was like, well, that's not fair because you were watching me from the other side. I was like, yeah, we were on the other side of the light, but you were crossing. So obviously, you know no, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So then I was just like, you have your ID with you. And so he gives it to me. And obviously I handed it over to her and she's like, Sylvester Hayes, like that's the name that was uh, under warrant. But so, so you got a good warrant? Well, <laughs> there's, okay. I guess okay. a lot he of He does have tickets. He does have okay. the tickets. So when I'm like, hey bro, so in order for us to, in order for us to be able to like, fully investigate, like, cause he was already acting weird. So I'm like, hey bro, like, he was already giving him trouble I'm like, can, can you just step out of the car for me? Like, Let's go to the back of the car. And at that point, he was like, for what? For what? And I'm like, bro, come on, man. And so that's whenever Reggie pulled up, and we tried to get him out of the car, and the flight was on. Okay. The officers started off lying by telling their sergeant they were running plates, and it came back red. But they told Sylvester that they pulled him over because he ran a stop sign. In the end, the police sergeant apologized to Sylvester, but he went to jail for days for resisting arrest and unlawful possession of a weapon based on the testimonies given by officers Guab and Harris. However, Sylvester filed a lawsuit pointing to two counts of excessive force and one count of unlawful arrest, which it's still ongoing. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.